Hello, and welcome back to Animal Crossing and Chillin' with Kay Daisy. Now, it in my game, it is March 31st, 2024, and I suspect that is Bunny Day? <laughs> so I anticipate we're going to have some Bunny Day activities, but as you can see, I did download the new game, Stitch, from the eShop. And I'm enjoying it. I did get stuck early in the game and put it down and picked up Ace Attorney instead before bed last night. But I do have to say it is very cute and I'm having a good time and I can't wait to get back to it. So uh, if you're looking for any game recommendations, I highly recommend Stitch if you're looking for like one of those before bed kind of games. <laughs> and you know what I mean by before bed kind of games. So at the moment, my before bed game is... Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think it's Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Well, maybe it is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Spirit of Justice. That is the mm, sixth game in the main Ace Attorney series. Again, I talk about Ace Attorney all the time. If you haven't heard of it, it is a lawyer game, <laughs> which sounds like probably the most unfun game of life. It is, however, very fun. And it's one of my favorite franchises. And I've been having a ball trying to get through Spirit of Justice, which I think is one of the longest entries of Ace Attorney. Oh, yes, it is Bunny Day. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, I'm having a good time going through the game. I did not finish Spirit of Justice originally when it was out. So I had to start my file again. And all six main Ace Attorney games are on Switch. The trilogy is available. The first trilogy is available, which stars Phoenix Wright, basically. And then the other three games, which are um, Apollo Justice, uh, Dual Destinies, and Spirit of Justice are now available on Switch. I haven't picked them up yet because I've already played through them on 3DS, but it, truth be told, I may pick them up on Switch and replay them over again because they're so fun. And it Again, a lawyer game does not sound fun, right? But it is fun. The characters are funny. The puns are funny. The whole puzzle aspect, mystery, like find inconsistencies in people's stories is fun. Finding evidence is fun. It's, it's like fun. It's just fun. So again, highly recommend. Highly recommend. Okay, Isabel. <sighs> Good morning. 723 on Sunday, March 31st. Hope you're excited because today is Bunny Day. The plaza is a bustle of activity. Perhaps we have a special visitor. Hint, hint. Either way, I'm sure there's a lot of fun in store for us today. So stop by the plaza if you have a chance. And with that, I'll let you get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Thanks, Isabel. Now, I have a question. If I invite Zipper to coffee, will he come? Because I, I have a Zipper in me, though. Well, obviously, we're not dressed appropriately for Bunny Day, so we, we just got to get changed. So let's do that. Wow, 34,000. Wow. We're doing good. Oh, I kind of like the Bunny Day music. Oh, the rain is gone. The rain is gone. It's... You know what? Is there ever a rainy bunny day? Is that a thing? Probably not. Right? Speaking of rain, it looks like it's going to rain today here in the, the old Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, that's good for the flowers, but not good for filming, I have to say. I missed an opportunity early in the week to film when it was sunny out. So, uh, you know, lessons learned. <laughs> lessons learned. I mean, we're going to, I'm going to see. If tomorrow I might have a better opportunity. Otherwise, your girl just might be turning the ISO up on her phone real high. <laughs> that's just that's just the story of it all. You know what I'm you know what I mean? I like my outfit. I thought it was cute. Alright, boots off. Wait, where are the boots? Boots off. Okay. <sighs> Do I want to dress up fully for Easter or no? We still have we have like this. We have the earth egg outfit. How do we feel about this? I mean, that's really what it's all about, right? Is this full 
Full. Should we go all out? Let's just... Or we could just be a bunny. We don't have to wear the stupid hat. Or we can wear this crown, which is actually pretty cute. Maybe let's do the crown. Okay. Because this, this is this too much. This, this too much. It's too much for, it's too much. All right. This is cute. We got subtle. Do we need to wear this dress again? Can we not? Can we? Can we not? Can we just? Can we be? Can we be normal? We've worn that dress. I'm over it. Fancy kimono. Farmer overalls. No. <laughs> uh, pajamas. No. Can we just wear something cute? Like. That's pretty cute. Do we wear this? Or do do we do custom? What are the nightgown? I don't think I've ever worn the nightgown. This one of these. Go formal. I don't know how to dress for Easter. Maybe we do simple. Okay. We don't think too hard about this. Or we can wear one of these. This is pretty cute. This is. Why do I have two of these? Wait, that's different. Or this one. Which one do we wear? Okay, one of these because, the, okay. Wait, not that. Oh, I'm, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I got excited. Okay, just ignore everything that just happened. We got this. It's, it's gonna happen, it's fine. All right, we're going back down to, I think we're gonna wear the plaid dress because we don't have to wear this stupid egg dress. And maybe we'll go for this one and for the headwear. We will wear the egg crown because I do like the egg crown. This, this matches, right? I, hold on, we're looking kind of cute. Do we wear like the bunny nose? Kind of hate it. You know, if I'm gonna be honest, you know. Uh, socks. Should we wear like, Actual, like, tie. Oh. Are we cute? What? Let's see. Hmm. San no. 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 Maybe? Maybe. Now I'm thinking we don't need to wear, um, you know, like, those tights. Because they look kind of weird now. What about... What about these? Or actually like these. These are cute. But maybe without the socks. That's cute. That's real cute. Okay. Accessories. We can wear... Oh, well, I mean, I guess... To be fair, we can wear the stupid egg bunny day bag. Okay, we're good. We're dressed for bunny day. We're not obnoxious. Okay. We're just celeb we're just celebrating. We're simply looking festive. We're just not looking obnoxious because obnoxious is not where I want to be today. Okay? I just want to be chill. <laughs> just want to be chill. Ah. Uh, uh so in real life <clears throat> in a couple of days it's my birthday. And I don't really have intentions of doing like a massively odd like huge celebration i mainly just want to be chill so i'm thinking about having a birthday stream which would be fun because that's like the closest i want to get to like a, a birthday party without having a party um and then i've told my husband i really would like just, just to have hot pot you know with all the fixins so uh, let's talk to Carmen. She looks very cute. Hi. Egg hunt is on. It's bunny day and that means it's egg time. Get right to it, Katie Daisy. Thank you. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the hot pot, it is like a sort of pan-Asian thing where you have this boiling pot of soup in the middle of the table. And I like the spicy Sichuan uh, soup. Spicy Sichuan soup. Sichuan pepper soup. Um, and, oh, what the heck? And I uh, like to dip in there uh, and cook 
my meats and vegetables and vegetables and some noodles and I just go to town and eat it and it's very good and I like the, you can go out to eat with to hot pot at restaurants but we have a hot pot that we um, use at home so do I have an extra shovel somewhere let me just see I can't believe I I ruined my shovel <laughs> on bunny day okay do we have an extra shovel no. No, we do not. Mm. We could carry the bunny day wand. Just for funsies, you know? Bunny day wand, hold. Look at us. Look, now we're very festive. Okay, let's go ahead and get a new shovel. Oh my gosh, what was I saying? Anyway, birthday party, hot pot. So there is a... um. There was a place where we usually go get our hot pot shabu shabu kind of dealio. And uh, it's in a place where the parking is so unbelievably scary in the weekends. So I'm hoping my husband takes care of this either tomorrow <laughs> on a Friday afternoon where it's not so scary. You know what? Do I need a do I need a lily pad table? Do I want this? I don't know. I can come back for it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, friends. Anyway, so those are the birthday activities. And we're having a members only on Friday night, I think. So we're going to, are we just going to be a fun streaming weekend? It's going to be a good time. Oh, wow. We got a lot going on. Daisy May is here. Oh, my God. Look at this. Raymond just stared. Staring at Zipper like, what's wrong with you, bro? Everyone looking adorable. Uh, where is this music coming from? If we stretch today, does Zipper contribute to that? We, we gotta find out. Hi. Boingity boing. Hey there, Skipper. It's me, Zipper. I'm the lucky yellow buddy, and I'm here to say there's something super special hippity happening today. Yay! Let's all clap. Anytime now. Do I remember you? Well, of course I do. I never forget a friendly face, and especially when I meet in a new place. Looks like you kept my visit a secret. I'm surprised you actually listened. Anyway, my favorite day is finally here. Time to fill this island with lots of bunny cheer. Hip hop hooray! Are you ready to celebrate bunny day? Great! Stay with me now. The time has come. Let's look for eggs. That's my bunny plan. They're here. They're there. They're everywhere. Find them if you can. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You can still hunt for eggs on this special day. Use your time wisely and try to find six types of eggs hidden around the island. If you find all six types, I'll give you a funny bunny reward. You know what? I also have a surprise for some bunny very special. What's that? Thanks for the rock eggs. And that somebody is you. Here's some stone eggs, blah, blah, blah. Well, then you'd better hop to it if you're going to find each and every bunny DIY recipe I've hidden. I have a super extra special reward for anyone who crafts all my bunny day recipes. Now, no time to waste. Make haste. Brenny, uh, bunny day. Zipper, I got a spoiler alert for you. I've done this event. I'm going to bring you old eggs <laughs> old eggs and you'll never know the difference okay you'll never know let's get them i don't have time i just don't have time but let's see if we can en engage zipper in some good times okay let's just i mean zipper's creepy we, we acknowledge that okay but maybe there's another side to zipper maybe it can we invite him for coffee will he leave the plaza for coffee that's my question Will he be somebody special? I don't know. You know? Will we be able to lend an ear to Zipper? Again, mysteries abound. Mysteries abound. All right, that's it. That's look at Marshall. All right. Um... 
Should we even get- Oh my god, look at Sherp. <laughs> Sherp is so cute! Uh... What do, hello. I'm just gonna... Yay. Hi. You are adorable. Stop. Alright. Uh, oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, zipper. Here you go. I got- I did- yes, I made all your recipes, like, four years ago. What- what- Really? No, give me the basket! I want the basket zipper. Stop it! Give me the basket! Are you for real? You can't be for- you can't be for real. Okay, let's take a look at my inventory. Do we qualify to do it again? I guess we do. Hey. Okay. I don't- I just- listen, I just need a ba- okay, give me a basket. Oh, let's trade. Oh, wait. No, how do I get a basket? Give me a basket. I have eggs. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Yes, take one kind of egg. For one kind, one, one of every kind. <laughs> all right, here you are. Yay! <laughs> That's all I wanted. Thank you. All right. Look, we finally got one. Legit. All right. Legit. Now, I mean, we could, we should get more. We should get more. We're hoarding them. Let's hoard them. Zipper. Give it to me. Give me more. How many should we get? Should we get like four? Let's get four. Yes, give it. Give it. We already have three now. We should get one more. We should get one more. We should get one more. All right. All right. Shut up, Zipper. We need one more. <laughs> I need another basket. I'm hoarding them. And that is that is the name of the of the game today. Hoarding the baskets because the baskets if we're being honest are the best bunny day item and they're very cute. So, let's just like look at that. I wish why can't we customize these? Cuz wouldn't that be so cute? Adorable. Absolutely adorable. I wish we could carry it too, because that would be real cute. Um, but let's let's just do a little let's just do a little stretching. Let's treat let's see if uh is Daisy May gonna be here too? That's gonna be real cute if that's the case. Adorable. Absolutely freaking adorable. <gasps> We're gonna use buttons. Oh my and, and Brewster? Stop it right now. Anka looking absolutely ridiculous. You know, why doesn't it Isabel get in on the uh, on the bunny day fun? She gets to wear her like little cute athletic outfit. Now, to be fair, today I have to do my, my workout, which if I'm real be being honest, I'm just not in the mood for it. I, but it's only 30 minutes, I told my trainer. It's, it's got to be only 30 minutes because otherwise I get intimidated and I won't do it. <laughs> so I told her. If it's under 30 minutes or like 30 minutes, like 31 minutes, I feel, I feel good about it. So she kindly only made my workouts 30 minutes because they were getting somewhere in the realm of 45 minutes. And I just, I just don't want to sacrifice the time, but I want to get it in, you know, just so I can, I can move my person around. Because I find, I do find, um, I do feel really good afterward. I'm like, oh, you know, my, my person feels good after this. Uh, like last week, after my Thursday workout, I felt amazing. So I'm hoping that happens again today. Um, but I do have to have coffee before my workout. Otherwise, your girl can't, can't, <laughs> I can't do it. I used to do it at five in the morning um like without caffeine is tough <laughs> it, i'm not even gonna lie it was tough i struggled 
Um, and so now I just, I'm, I just accept that it's like an after coffee thing and that that's totally fine. <laughs> right? That's what pre-workout is for. So having a little cup of coffee before your workout is totally valid and totally fine. Right, Zipper? Okay, we look adorable. Mm. I'm sipping some of my churro coffee, which I recently um, bought a pour over device. I have way too many coffee brewing devices called Hario 60. It's a little pour over thing you can put over your cup and I really enjoy it. I think it's real cute and it's really easy to use. All right, let me grab Zipper's Amiibo and maybe we can invite him for coffee and see if he's a weird, weirder at coffee. While you're waiting, I hope you can hear me. How are you all doing? <laughs> I hope you're all doing fabulous. I hope you're having an interesting day. Oh my gosh, here it is. I found it. Okay. If you're not having an interesting or fun day, then I hope I cheer you up. Because, you know, not every day can be a bad or a good day. It's just the way of life today. These, the, you know, well, life in general. All right, here we are. No one's here. Absolutely no one's here. What happens if you try to call um, NPCs to the campsite? <laughs> do they just not come? Do they do they just say like you're you're wild? Like what is your problem? Uh, okay, I guess we're inviting Zipper for coffee. Please wait. All right, he's coming. He's coming, guys. Oh my God, coffee break? Coffee break on bunny day. What do we think? Like, do we think Zipper, we got, well, I mean, we'll find out. But like, honestly, I wanna know a lot about Zipper's inner feelings. I wanna know what he, you know, I want to know his feelings. All right, Zipper. Hi. Hey, hi and hello. Zipper is here, don't you know? <laughs> Why I'm giving him a, a messed up Midwestern accent, I don't know. Okay. After the spring equinox, then the first full moon, that next Sunday is bunny day. So says my bunny tune. That's why the date changes year after year. Oh. I didn't know that. It helps me surprise you whenever I appear. I didn't know that because occasionally, like every 10 years or so, my birthday happens to coincide with Easter. My friend Derek calls it Kester. <laughs> so we have slash Easter slash birthday celebrations. And it's very fun. Um, that's interesting, Zipper. Sugar, milk, most flavors I'll sip, but eggs don't belong in my coffee drip. Are you sure? Is it, is there like a coffee drink with like egg in it? I feel like there is. There's most definitely coffee with butter in it, that like bulletproof coffee. Haven't tried it, even though I have been eating a ketogenic diet for like almost a year. I just have misgivings about putting... Um, butter in my coffee but I heard it's actually good your girl just puts some cream and sugar in there and calls it a day not sugar but like some sweetener butter maybe I'll try it tomorrow and report back <laughs> see if it's good or not but butter in your coffee I mean I guess if you're already putting okay let's review butter is just like whipped up cream but whipped, 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 whipped to like oblivion. 
right? Because that's how you make butter. If you've never made butter before, that's how you make it. You put some cream and you agitate the hell out of it. And it eventually, it suddenly turns yellow and like solid and boom, you got butter. Now, maybe putting salted butter in your coffee may be a bad idea. But now that I'm thinking about it, bulletproof coffee could be a good thing. Could be a good time. I'll report back and let you know. (laughs) I'll report back. I know you've got questions about Zipper's big zipper. Uh Uh-oh. But now's not the time. Today I'm a coffee sipper. Why do you always have to rhyme? I know you've got questions about Zipper's big zipper. I do have questions about Zipper's big zipper. Are you wearing a costume? Who are you? Inquiring minds want to know. He's not going to spill the tea. He's not. Just so we're clear, I'm only here for the coffee. I'm not hiding any eggs, got it? I mean, didn't you already do that? No eggs in here? There's no eggs in here? You didn't hide any eggs in here? I think he's done talking to me. Yeah, he's done. He's, he's, he's done. He's done. No tea was spilled. Not one, not one drip, not one drip of tea. Hmm. Zipper, I, I have more questions for you. Uh, about your zipper. Your big zipper. I have, I have questions. Why? Okay, why are you wearing like, also like an accountant's hat? That also, I have questions. I have questions and it's also very triggering. Because as a self-employed person, I, have, oh, I owe. Because there's a hefty self-employment tax. Which seems... Anyway, we're not going to talk about it. So... I don't like that hat, okay? It just reminds me of, like, (laughs) just reminds me of paperwork and QuickBooks and all that. Hate it. But I need to know, Zipper. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you Tom Nook? Who are you really? I mean, it's not Tom Nook. Right? It's not. Because Tom Nook is in his office. But like this guy, this zipper, this big zipper in the back, suspicious. Very suspicious. So, I guess uh, we're done. Should we have Should we have a cup? We'll have a cup. I was hoping to see you today. Care for some coffee? It's 200 bells a cup. I will take one. Thank you very much. What blend you got for me today, Brewster? You got something acidic? You got something a little little sweet? A little caramelly? What you got? What you got? I like that cup. I like the way he gently pushes it towards me. I brewed this cup especially for you. Drink up. I'll do just that. It's black. No sweetener. No cream. Just enjoy the good taste of the bean juice. Yummy. Yowza. Drink it while it's hot. And that's when it's at its freshest. Love it. Speaking of coffee and coffee making, how many of you out there watching this video drink espresso? Um, I, to be honest, if I'm being completely honest, and I always do, <laughs> be honest, I can handle espresso every now and again, but I usually only can handle it really with sweetener in it because it's just so much. It's so much. Like I like a cortado, sweetened sweat slightly. Or sometimes if I'm feeling it, I'll just have a, a shot of espresso. But I haven't found the coffee that I like to make espresso where I can handle it. Because I'll usually I find it way too acidic. Like, or not, well, I guess sa- sour is the right word to use. <laughs> or maybe, you know what? Maybe I just don't make good espresso at home. Maybe I need to get it together because I just find that it's too sour. But it's fine for espresso drinks. While I'm looking in my uh, Amiibo collection here, I am seeing, well, we have Brewster's Amiibo, which we can't ask for coffee because he's already here. 
But I'm like, do I want to have coffee with anyone else right now? And I feel like I do. You know what? I'm going to have coffee with a villager who has been my mortal enemy for like 20, over 20 years now. And we're just going to see how we feel about it. <laughs> Does everyone have a villager who is their mortal enemy? I do. I definitely do. Hello? Hello? Scan, please. Oh, no! Try again! Try again. Okay, here we go. That worked that time. Astrid. Now, does it seem random? Maybe. However, when I was playing GameCube style Animal Crossing in like 2003 and 2004, Astrid lived in my town. She, she didn't, she wasn't there originally. She moved there after somebody had moved out. And she was like the rudest villager. Rudest. And I hate kangaroo designs because their little Joey makes the, fa the same facial expressions and I just find that to be extremely creepy. I do have, I, I don't mind the kangaroos. I love kangaroos in general. Like I love, if, if we're talking about 80s babies and 70s babies, now, I've been reading the comments. I love, by the way, thank you so much for the comments. I love reading the comments from other 80s and 70s babies because y'all remember a lot of the same things that I do. And let me know if you remember particularly, and probably more if you're Australian, Dot and the Kangaroo. <laughs> Dot and the Kangaroo is a core memory of mine. It was a musical feature-length film with a like live action background, but animated characters, <laughs> which for its time was very cool. But Don the Kangaroo was one of my favorite films. There was a sequel. I think there were actually several sequels, but I only remember one. Dot and the Bunny was the sequel. I do believe there were a number of sequ sequels that I don't know about, but Dot and the Kangaroo, iconic first film. Love it. Um, and I remember all the songs from it, all of them, all of them, every single one, every single one. But you know what? The one that scared me the most, when we're talking about kangaroos and I still find it creepy to this day and I'm 47 almost, it made that big of an impression on me was the one about the bunyip. I hate that song. It scares the crap out of me. The bunyip was like this ghost, uh, monster kind of dealio. And it's scary. It's scary as hell. And I don't like, I don't, I'm still upset by the bunyip. Astrid, what say you? Well, here I am, live and in person. Yeah, I guess here you are. The baby is cute though, I'm gonna say. Like, the baby is very cute. The, the Joey is, is awfully, awfully close to the coffee also. Just saying. You are the one who called me, no? Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Am I, are you glad to be here? Because you're not really welcome here. Aside from myself and the seaplane, we choose something else. And the water landing? Dramatic. You've got a wonderful island here, Kate Easy. Ah, leave me alone. All right, you know what? Done. Done. I'm, I'm not convinced. The eye, she's still my enemy. And she's never allowed to live on St. Rosie. There. There. That happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is the dumbest thing. By the way, I read in a comment that one of you could see, we'll have coffee with another another villager. One of you could see Diva living on the island. And you know what I have to say? I mean, she's slated for Instagram. She is, but we'll see how we feel about her in person. I kind of, I you know what? I could see that. I could see Diva being a St. Rosie, like, bestie. I don't think I've ever dealt with Diva, like, ever. So, she's never been to the campsite. Well, we don't know that. Because there was that one time when we forgot to go to the campsite. Could have been Diva. <laughs> Imagine if it was Diva. 
How funny would that be? It's just been like, all that time, it was all diva. Oh my, you know what? Hi. She's got little nostrils, which is cute. Let's, uh, let's just take a moment and, and reflect on diva. Let's just, let's just, hopefully she'll turn and look at us. And we could take, we could take a photo. <gasps> Wait, she's cute. Is she not cute? Look at her little lip, lipstick. Her little, her little swirly hairs. And the eye makeup on point. She's kind of cute. Sup, that, wait, 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 wait. She's sisterly? I did not see that coming. I absolutely did not predict that. Hmm. What the heck? Didn't think she was gonna be sisterly. I'm down for getting a cup of coffee absolutely anytime you like. You can what you can wake me up for all I care. It's all good. Waking me up is what coffee does best, you know. Stop, she's cute. What are we gonna do? Well, she slated she slated for Instagram, right? Kind of, maybe? Sort of? Hello? Ever worry about how Brewster can hear everything? Oh sorry. Ever worry about how Brewster can hear everything that gets said in here? Because I do. I have secrets. So if you ever hear me talking about learning languages, I'm speaking in code, you know? She's so cute. Wait, I bet Brewster heard all that. Slugs, now I need a new code. Stop it right now. Do we have a new bestie? Uh, she kind of is everything. I'm upset. She can't live here, but she can definitely live on Instagram, okay? She's everything. I kind of don't, I have, I've only had a few sisterlies on St. Rosie because, um, maybe because I had some trauma with Plucky. Let's go look at Bucks. <laughs> Plucky was my stupid sisterly starter. And I just don't, I don't know how I, you know what? Maybe I'm bitter about Plucky because she's a chicken and I don't like chickens. But, you know, maybe I'm being too harsh on the Pluckster. Do I have Plucky's Amiibo? Number 25? But she's one of those uh, uh, RV villagers. Let me take a look at my collection and see if I have Plucky. And if I have Plucky, we'll talk to Plucky. Oh, I don't have Plucky. Okay, forget it. <laughs> I don't have Plucky. Is Plucky definitely one of those RV villagers? For sure. I guess she is. Well, that's a shame. Number 25. Huh. Well, I did, okay, I didn't like Plucky. I just thought, I didn't think Plucky was that great, but maybe I'm just being too harsh. Maybe I'm being too harsh on the Pluckster. Maybe one of these days when I see Plucky, I should give her a chance, you know? In the meantime, we're just gonna hang out at the museum, check out these bugs. I don't have all the bugs. I'm missing, uh, how many am I missing? I'm, I think I'm missing three or two. Definitely the golden stag, which I've caught on other accounts, which makes me kind of mad. <laughs> so I'm missing, that's where either this spot or this spot is where the golden stag would be, or maybe that spot. It's look like, it looks like I'm missing three stag beetles, which, dang it, wow. Three, I think it's three stag beetles. That is a shame. <laughs> that is a shame. Um, but I have all the rest of the fish and the, the, um, do I have all the creatures? No. Do I get something for having all these or <laughs> do, do, do I get anything? Probably not. Why don't I have all the creatures? That's kind of weird, but I definitely have all the fish. 
I've done all the fish. Uh, cicadas, again. The cicada is a double brew this year. So if you all live in a place where the cicadas are hatching, um, good luck to you. I wouldn't mind. I would think it was fun. But it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Here's some uh, some water water type bugs. There's that water biter there. <laughs> the toe biter. This guy will bite your toe and have no qualms about it. Absolutely no qualms. I heard it hurts real bad. The butterflies. Look at that beetle. Little rainbow stag there. Nice. Got some other beetles. Got a little lightning bug. I used to catch lightning bugs, put them in a jar. That was fun. Back in the day, got some butterflies. Got this big old beetle. Got these beetles. And if you don't know, if you never come here at night, the beetles, they be battling on this tree. If you come here at night. <gasps> Look at the spooter. The spooter hanging out here. This looks like to me some kind of orb weaver. Nice. Um, and they'd be battling and you can see which one wins. It's really fun. Come out here like, I think after nine or after eight. <gasps> Look at these beetles. Cute, 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 cute. Let's go, there's the banded dragonfly, which was really, really hard to catch in previous games, but they've made it much easier. <laughs> they've made it much, I think they should make it really hard to catch again. As hard as the golden stag. Ah, oh, we got more bugs over here. Look at all the plants they didn't give us. Look, like, what's that? Though the Venus flytrap. Oh, there's a Venus flytrap in the game and they didn't give it to us. In real life, I don't think I'd keep one of those alive. I think they require way too much uh, humidity. Look at the little dung beetle. Having a good time in there. What's in here? Oh, a tarantula. Tarantula. There he is. In real life, I think if you have a tarantula, you hardly ever see them, right? They're like underground. They're burrowing. We got a little leaf bug over here, little little, little uh, branch insect, stick stick bug. That's what I that's what it was called. <laughs> is the leaf insect uh what kind of bug is it? It looks very praying mantisy. We got a like orchid mantis in here. Very pretty. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. I really would like to. We got a little moth in here. And some centipede action. Nice. Oh, and a little a little pill bug. A little pill bug right here. And my biggest, one of my biggest pet peeves is they don't, they gave us the, uh, the Dracaena here, but not the snake plant. Why? I need this snake plant. And these plants have saucers. Why don't the plants we have have saucers? Animal Crossing, what's up? What's up with that? We got a mole cricket over here. We got all kinds of like crickets over here. I would like in the next Animal Crossing game, please, I'm, Nintendo, please give us a Katie did to catch. I love a Katie did. I think Katie dids are so cute. Please give us a Katie did. I would love it. I would love it so much. We got, um, what? Is, what is that? What? What's that? What's that there? What is that? Cause that's the mole cricket, right? What, what's that other thing? What is that? Oh, there's the ants. That's cute. Uh, let's, rice grasshopper, migratory locust, long, long, long locust. <laughs> ants? What is that? Wait, I have to go over here? Grasshopper, okay, cricket. Bell cricket, mole cricket, uh, is this a cicada, but like, like underground buried? Is that what they're going after? How come it don't say right here? That's very weird. Don't you think? Don't you know? Isn't that strange? That is very strange. I never noticed that. This looks, I mean, it looks like a cicada. Isn't this what they do? They like are underground. And then every now and again, every like 17 or 14 years or whatever, they come out and they do their thing and then they die off. 
and then they go back underground. <laughs> what a weird life cycle. Okay, this room is fun. I don't think, I love this room. It's like they're doing experiments. Um, <gasps> Nat, what? Look, did y'all ever notice that? It's that. That is so cute. What? Wouldn't it be fun if Nat was here and he could like trade bugs in for items with you? That would be adorable. Look at all this sciencey stuff. Isn't this cute? I love this. We've got a little scale here. A little sink. Bottles. We got little cages. I love this. Where? Nintendo. Give us back Nat. Give us back Nat. I mean, look, listen, Flick is cool and all, but like they can, it, both characters can exist at the same time. What are these? Flies? Mosquitoes? Ew, look at the fleas. Grote. Absolute grote. And you know what I'm glad it's not in this game? Ticks. If, if I love, listen, okay, I love all creatures, great and small. But if one day ticks like just miraculously just went extinct, were eradicated from this world, not bothered. Ticks are disgusting. They spread disease. The very fact that they like latch to your skin and suck your blood and stay on you for like 20 to 24 to 48 hours or whatever is disgusting. And I don't, if they were to all be eliminated, World's better for it, gotta say. All right, butterflies, cute. We got, why do you have like a little a fly swatter there and some like insecticide looks like. We got a little uh, microscope and some coffee with, with uh, uh, sugar cubes right beside it with some ants traveling <laughs> in and out there. And these are fly, these flies are un unsettlingly large. I'm gonna say. These are like horse type size flies if you're really looking at them closely and that's disturbing. If you, ew, wait. Look at this guy just like waiting to bite you. If you've ever been bitten by a horse fly or like been around a horse fly, you know the struggle. They are not nice. They will come, they'll bite you and not care about it. And the bite, the bite hurts guys. The bite hurts, it's rude, um, and it's like painful welts. That's all I'm going to say. Now, I've been bitten by horse flies because, again, been around the horses. And that's just something that happens. They're called horse flies for a reason. They love to bite horses, too. And horses hate them, too. Hate them. Now, this room. The most relaxing room in Animal Crossing. <gasps> I didn't notice there was a little ladybug up there. That's so cute. Love this room. Love this room. Oh, little froggies. There's a little froggy there. Oh, I forgot we could sit on this. Well, now you can't see me, so we'll get up. Get little flowers here. Love the butterflies. We love, oh, here's like the starter plants before they gave them to us. Well, they're not exactly the same art, but it's close. We've got what look like snapdragons here. Snapdragons, right? And like these flowers, which I don't know what they are. And these, which look like African violets or some kind of other little clustery type flower. They're probably not African violets. They don't, they don't, they don't they look like another plant. What's this here? Oh, look at the little lily pad there. That is precious. And over here we have like potted succulents. Look like. I like the way that they're sparkling like they just got watered. That's actually a really nice touch. I love this room. It's so peaceful in here. Ah, oh, this deserves a photo. This is, I don't know what my thumbnail is going to be. Do, do butterflies land on your head if you stand here long enough, if you sit here long enough? Is that, um, is that something that happens? Because if so, that would be amazing. Can we do this? Oh yeah, this is a good room. 
Can I just sit here and like have a butterfly land on my head? Because that's what happens in real life. If you've ever been to a butterfly exhibit in a museum, which I highly suggest if there's ever an opportunity at like your local science museum or whatever, if they have a butterfly exhibit where you can walk around and be a, amongst hundreds of butterflies, highly recommend. It is magical. It doesn't look real. It looks like you're in a simulation. And it's peaceful. Please land on my head. Please. Do they ever land on your head? Because wouldn't that be so cute and fun? This this peacock butterfly just is... Oh, come on. Come on. Do they ever land on your head? I would love if they did. <laughs> anyway, when I was a kid, I used to really be into catching butterflies and looking at them and studying them. So I had like a net and uh, I used to catch on the regular these little white, the white butterflies with the little dots um, and the yellow ones too. And when we lived in Georgia, there were regularly the tiger butterflies, which were the yellow ones that you see there with the, um, oh my God, I landed on a flower and the peacock butterflies. Cause that was, that's what was around. And I just, I enjoyed hanging out with them. Now they are very, del the wings are very delicate. And like sometimes if you're not careful, you can damage them when you catch them to look at them. But most of the time I would just set them free um, after I looked at them for a while, I guess, in my, in a, like a little bug cage. And one of my favorite things to do was like catch other insects and look at them, um, particularly mantises and ladybugs. <laughs> And stick insects. Um, I thought they were cool. Insects are cool, right? Okay, I guess they don't land on you. They do land on the flower uh, items near you, which I think is very charming and fun. I love this room. I love this room so much. Oh, look, look at a big old one. The big, big giant bird wing butterfly. Where do you, where can you find those? Do we have those in the States? Anyway, I think butterflies, of course, people like butterflies, but um, hate moths, which they're a very similar creature. They just don't move the same. Um, but I think moths are cool. Moths are real cool. I think that uh, like some of them are like really, really beautiful. Like if you've ever seen a luna moth, you know how beautiful it is. Stunning. Stunning, stunning creature. Um, yeah. Moths are cool. Butterflies are cool. Insects are cool. You know? All right, well, that's... Oh, boy. Should I dig this up? I feel like we should... Oh, stop it. Let's pick a, pick a favorite and have it be colorful shovel. Okay. So I feel like um, I have to dig everything up here before Bunny Day is done. Because it's really... How many items do I have? Not me having two Bunny Day wands. Oh, hello? What's here? That's stopping me. Oh, this thing? This flag thing? Look at that. Earth eggs. Earth eggs to beat the band. So... Oh my god, look at Teddy. <laughs> look at Teddy. I have goals for this area in front of my museum and I tried at one point but I just wasn't successful and I'd really like to be successful is to make a hedge garden that doesn't look terrible now I don't think my hedge garden looks terrible now but it could be better I guess right I don't know the hedge garden right now, I think it looks a little meh. Meh. It could be better. It could be much better. Let's see what everyone else is up to before we end it. Oh my gosh, another. <gasps> so many holes. It's all eggs today. But you know what, after today? Gone, poof. We're back to real life. <laughs> back to reality. <laughs> You know what I mean. I'm just saying. 
Maple, stop it. It's Bunny Day! Let's make it winter ever, Katie Z. I hate that on Bunny Day, though, all the villagers, like, just have a myopic conversation and view towards talking with you, and it's all just only about Bunny Day, and I'm over it. Like, I really wish that after they talked about Bunny Day once, they would just move on with their lives. It's kind of disappointing how they just talk about Bunny Day. You know? Like, just get over it. All right, should we exchange our eggs for one more basket? Maybe let's see that. Just for, you know, just because we're hoarding. We're hoarding. Oh my God, stop. Okay. <laughs> yes, give me, give it, give it, give it. Go for it. Sherb is still hanging out here. What is he hoping to get? <gasps> I just remembered that I have bunny, chocolate bunnies that I never ate. I need to get on that. I heard they're solid too. Maybe just the ears are solid. I think that's I think that's the the scam. Is that on on a on a quote unquote solid chocolate bunnies? It just the ears are solid, right? Isn't that the scam? <laughs> that the rest is hollow and disappointing. I think that's the scam. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Please let it be something I don't have, because wouldn't that be fun? A fun way to end the episode. It's from Henry. Oh, ironwood chair. Well. We know that DIY. Uh, well, I guess. I guess we're done. Bunny day has come and gone. We've hoarded our baskets. And so now we have no excuse next year to not decorate with baskets because we have a thousand now. Oh my goodness. Well, there we go. Now we can see. Um, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.